What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're here today with the FlightScope Mebo Plus. That's the radar based portable golf launch monitor. And there's been a lot of updates. So they have released fusion tracking where they're taking the camera inside the unit and combining that with radar tracking. That is a free firmware update for all FlightScope Mebo Plus users. Also the Pro Package. We have actually added the Pro Package to our unit. We've shown it in the channel, but we've done putting and chipping, we've done iron shots, but we have not done any driver or on-course play. I had a ton of people reaching out asking for this, and I actually hyper-extended my elbow. I haven't been able to play for a few weeks. I'm at about 90%. I feel like I can go out and play a few holes for you guys and show you what it's all about. I'm actually out at Innisbrook Copperhead. You guys are probably watching the Valspar Championship this past weekend. I'm at the, the back nine. We'll see if we can play nine holes. We'll see how it's going, see how the elbow's feeling. Um, but without further ado, we can go ahead and get started. Now, before I hit a tee shot, I want to remind you guys that if you're looking to purchase the FlightScope Mebo Plus or any launch monitor or hardware or software, make sure you shoot me an email. I'll pin it to the top of the comments and put it in the description. Turf, screens, projectors, whole packages. My partners have been helping not only consult, but design uh, living rooms, garages, full studios, you name it. It's pretty awesome seeing the before and after pictures, which you can actually take a look at at the Golf Simulator Videos Instagram. We've been showing some of those before and after pictures. It's just awesome seeing what GSV users have done to these spaces and how they've turned out. So um, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, I'll show you guys my new driver here. I haven't even really been able to hit the TaylorMade Stealth with that carbon face. All right, I really like the way it looks on top. Uh, I've been playing Sim 2 for a little while now, and it just didn't look traditional to me, it just looked different. Um, and I feel like this has a little better look on the eye. I'm seeing similar data for only hitting it a handful of times. Um, so same shaft and everything. But the Mevo Plus is about a little over seven feet behind the ball, a little over 10 feet of ball flight. I am using the dot. Not an RCT ball. The RCT ball is not certified by Flyscope yet, so we just want to use the dot, which, uh, you know, what they're saying is certified. So let's go ahead and get things going. Innisbrook Copperhead, look how just tight and narrow everything is here. It's going to be a challenging back nine. All right. At least a good ball to start things off. You know, I'm feeling better. You know, I'm swinging, you know, harder than I was initially. And look at the carry on that thing. I've had a handful of people, not a ton, but a handful of people say, you know, my driver is really short with Mevo Plus. Well, I can pretty much guarantee that if that's the case, then you have some type of hardware, uh, not hardware, but setup issue. Could be interference, anything along those lines. Um, it could be the degree you have your flight scope unit at, maybe your distances, settings inside of software, because let's pull that up really quick and look at that drive. Pull our analyzer up. So... My club head speed, 106.5, ball speed, 157. Optimal spin down there in the low 2000s. A little bit of a draw, carried that thing 275. I mean, those are very similar data, you know, parameters that you're going to see on other launch monitors here in the channel when I play them. So um, cool to see that. Now, 130, um, that's a heavy pitching wedge for me and I'm not trying to swing hard today, even though I kind of swung that driver harder than I should be, but um, let's see if we can get a hold of a, a pitching wedge and get it close. Hit that pretty well. I tried to put a little draw on it. Usually I can carry him a little bit further. That's ah, going to come up a little short. All right, we can putt that though. I don't even think it's on the fringe. I think it's on the green. So you guys will get to see putting. I did 10 foot gimmies, which is enough to where, um, you know, you guys will see plenty of putting, but also chipping and everything. So. It says fringe, you wanna make sure you change this to putter if you're going to be putting um, from the fringe. And see how it moved my ideal line uh, for putting because I have a line to break where you just putt dead straight for speed. Playing about 28 feet or so. I have it on 11 stimps, so I have to keep in mind because um, I'm only a little over 10 here, um, but it's about 10 and a half, so I mean, I've been messing with it. I played with 10 for a while, I'm playing with 11 right now. See how that speed comes out. Not bad. I mean, it was a pretty good putt. Maybe a little more speed and it could have been tracking towards the hole or obviously a little better putt direction because I have a little bit left on there. It was a little left on my dot. So um, not bad to start things off. All right, my ball bounces a little bit too, just so you guys know. Um, I don't have a perfectly putting, uh, smooth surface. If I had the, the putting mat off to the side, I'd get better roll. So keep that in mind when you're watching the videos when I'm playing with Mevo Plus. If you have a setup like mine, you can use it. Now, you could get a little variation on your putting because the ball could have a little bounce, which that one seemed to bounce. Um, if I 
focus on keeping my putter low to the ground with nice, uh, you know, angle of attack. The ball seems to roll smoother. I'll try to focus on that next time. All right, get another drive down there. Not too bad, other than I believe that was low on the face and I'm not gonna get the distance I normally get. Yeah, see how that only carried about 250? I could just hear it and uh, feel it. And there's that high spin and low launch angle. So everything about that was all in the data. And the only tough here is, is I'm right on the front of a bunker, which it looks like I can launch over it. But honestly, I'd probably be laying up here anyway. So what is a layup? Only 212 right there. I can probably launch a five iron over top of this bunker. A little forgiving. It'd be a little, little tougher over there to the right, it looks like. So I have a, a little window here. That just wasn't a good drive. I'm still, I'm still getting a little timid. That takeaway I can feel in my elbow, it's weird. I'll tell you one thing, do not hyperextend your elbow. Not fun. All right, I hit that pretty well. Little open face I could feel. Don't end up in the bunker again. <laughs> all right, got all that though. That should give me a decent little approach shot. 80 yards, not too bad. I'll be playing a 58 degree. And I gotta be careful. If I crisp this thing, it tends to go a little too far. 80 yards, all right. Should get a little spin back from it. See if I judge that distance right. Just don't spin back too much. That was risky. It was risky. It was a balance of getting it there, hitting it over the green, <laughs> everything. And you know, um, I forgot to mention to you guys, when you're, when you're putting, you are supposed to putt without the dot. Okay, so um, you can easily just swap a ball like I do and putt without the dot. That was recommended from FlightScope. Um, 22 feet, playing 24, a little uphill. See if we can get this thing rolling smooth on our mat. Maybe knock it in. It's pretty straight. Is it the speed? Ah, just a little off again. Just a little off. I, I hit that smoother though. I definitely hit that a little smoother. You see how it's a little left? A little left. All right. I mean, I'm not complaining with pars, not playing golf for several weeks and uh, I mean, I just can't complain with that. So this is an interesting hole. I mean, this is, this is no, no joke here at Innisbrook. Um, you know, I picked the back nine. Um, I mean, you could play, I mean, I could probably play hybrid, you know, just a smooth hybrid because generally I only carry it 215, 220 when it's just a smooth, smooth shot. And so let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can just hit a smooth hybrid. three hybrid. I caught just a tiny bit of ground behind it, so I'm interested to see how far it goes. Yeah, look at the look at the carry. Just a little behind the ball. Just a little behind the ball. It wasn't terrible, but enough to shave off, you know, a solid 15, 20 yards, that's for sure. And now I'm hitting a seven iron probably to get back there. Oh, let's see here. Six feet uphill. That <laughs> Who picked these pins today? Angry Greenskeeper. Okay. Probably play a little bit of a draw to get it back there. How's that for distance? Not enough. I thought I'd take some off because I didn't want to draw it and hit it over the green, but I ended up a little little short and now we're putting so I need to swap my ball out. See I haven't been putting with Mevo Plus recently so I have to remind myself to swap out with a ball that does not have a dot. All right playing 30 feet. Just had one similar. Let's see what we can do here. I like what uh, what I'm seeing so far here. Seems to be working quite well. How's that for speed and direction? Ah, just a little left. Just a little left. Okay. 
You know, and my alignment might not be perfect on Mevo Plus, I'm not gonna lie, because that's just such a small amount. Um, you know, and I uh, have been using the unit and I just turned it on this time. Alignment's key. Alignment's very, very important. So I'll actually aim just a tiny bit right next time and we'll see if that, uh, that corrects it. I really recommend, um, you know, I didn't think about that because I haven't been doing this a lot. I really recommend using the FS Golf app and aligning your unit, setting the roll and the tilt and everything. And then when you're done, force close the app and then uh, connect Wi-Fi to your PC or whatever you're using. And then you'll be able to, uh, from there, um, have all the proper, you know, alignment and everything. That's how I would normally do it. All right, 168. This is that same thing. I'd like to maybe hit a smooth draw just because I'm not trying to swing too hard. I don't feel like I released that. It's not going to draw at all. I left the face open. Yep. Right idea, wrong execution. All right. Yeah, just a little, little open. It's a good shot. If I would have just released that club just a little bit harder. It's all right. Some more short chipping with the Mevo Plus. So what do you want to do? Hit this for maybe 30 feet or so. It's going to slow down because it's a little uphill. Running right to left. So honestly, I'll probably going to aim just a little bit right. Land at about 30 feet or so. Oh, slow down. A little, little too much. I got a little uh, too confident with the uphill. But we walk away on a challenging hole with par again. So, um, no complaints. Another par five. Okay, 514 yards. Let's see how this par five can be in our favor, maybe. That's, I mean, it's a quite a forgiving fairway even though it's tight down there. I'd love just to hit a baby draw around. I was low on the face again. There's that little draw I was hoping on hitting but the problem is it's going to be short and it's going to be some trouble. That was low on the face. Yep. All right. Well this is going to be challenging. At least it's a par five. And it looks like you'd be laying up heavily anyway. So what's what's down here? That's to punch out. You don't want to go too far. So I think I just punch out right through those trees. I'm gonna hit like a little half of five iron or something, try to get through there. Oh, it went too high. Hmm, that's going to be challenging. It's going to leave me with a really challenging shot. I should have leaned that club even further forward. I tried to do the short follow through, which in my opinion really helps with those. So what is that, a six iron it leaves me with? I'm definitely going to be going at it. Always watch your aiming point. 178. So this is more of a smooth six. Can't quite get my seven there. A little left. Yep. All right, we're not hitting our greens in regulation today. That does not help for birdies, that's for sure. But let's see what we can do. 34 foot chip, challenging. At least it's a little uphill again, so that's going to help stop the ball. Just a little chip. Roll up, roll up, hole out. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was a hole out. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. So close. So close. What a fun course so far. Uh, I haven't played this in a long time. Oh, another, another cool par three. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's 166 and it's a little downhill. I would think this is like a, it's just a straight seven iron. I mean, I'd love to put maybe a tiny fade on it, but it's a straight seven iron. Yeah, 
That's drawn a little. A little too much. We're on the green. We're on the green. Let's show some putting. Let's show some putting. Grab our other ball really quick. Ah, 42 feet. So it's playing about 47. It's long. This is really long. Got to judge this right. Almost 50 feet. How's that for speed? I aimed a little right. <laughs> and guess what? It went a little right. I have a feeling that my launch direction is off on those putts just a little bit. I purposely aimed just a little bit right just to see. It rolled right at my dot. I think Mevo is doing a pretty good job putting here. I'm not saying, like I said, that I set it up perfectly or anything, but oh, this hole, this could be anyone's nemesis here. I mean, you just want to drive it right down there to the left side is what you want to do. Just make sure you, you don't slice it into the water. I'm going to get the driver out. I'm going to try to make just a, a smooth swing. I'm not going to try to shape a shot or anything. Just make a nice smooth swing. There it is. Perfect. I made really good contact with that. Good carry. Isn't it funny how a smooth swing can go almost as far as when I'm swinging after a little bit? I mean, uh, look at that club speed, it's still 106. Just a nice smooth swing. That's all I should do every time, right? It was really good contact. Nice swing, good contact. 145. It's probably not gonna spin back based on club. So honestly, I feel like this is just a full nine. You know, I feel like I can get this there. Going to roll out maybe just a little bit. Hopefully I didn't let... Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Just outside the friend zone. Gives us a nice putt, though. I mean, I'll be honest. With the elbow injury, not playing for a while, if we could get through Innes Brook Copperhead... Even par, I'd be happy. I'd be very happy. So this is playing about 16, 17 feet. Let's see if I can get my launch direction proper here. Uh, yep, just didn't hit it hard enough. That was the problem there. I needed a little more speed and I think that would attract towards the hole. When I hit that, I just just wasn't as confident in the speed. All right, like I said, it's a par party and I'm not complaining. So what do we have here? A little par three? Playing uphill though, it's gonna be all of a six iron to get there. That's for sure. All of a six iron. Um, really interested to see what you guys think so far. I mean, we're playing a bunch here. This is the first time playing on course with the Fusion and uh, you know, FlightScope Evo Plus Pro Package. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I always try to answer every single comment. So whether it's a question, um, you know, whether it's just feedback, anything like that, you know, feel free to leave it below. Oh, I think I, yeah, that's going left. Yanked it a little. Kind of over-release trying to get it there. All right, it's all about short game. It is all about short game. So let's see if we can actually get our wedge game on point here. So it's uphill again. I can see it's all red. So it's going to help me. Got to carry this a little bit further than those last, last couple chips you guys saw. Got to get it up and over too. So I'm going to try to lift this ball up a little bit. Oh, oh, <laughs> two chip shots that were so close to hole outs. I mean, I can't complain. I'm making these pars. And like I said, been out of the game here for a little bit. So we got to finish up. I mean, we got to make it through nine holes at Innisbrook Copperhead. First time back after injury. Let's make that smooth driver swing that we were talking about a couple holes ago. 
That's what I'd like to do here. Finish out strong. Nice swing. <sighs> Left the face just a little open. I hit it really well. It's gonna play well though, because that was uphill I think too. And we're gonna get it out there 270. So, good swing. 158 ball speed, 107 club speed, yeah. That was, I mean, that was a really good swing. Really good swing. What do you guys think of the TaylorMade Stealth? That's an eight degree I play, Ventus Black Shaft. Um, I mean, it's, it's gonna be delivering very similar results to Sim 2 based on my testing so far. So what do you do here? Do you hit, I mean, cause like 130, I have to like, and it's 20 feet uphill. I have to hit this like heavy draw pitching wedge to get it there. I think that's what you do though. I'm gonna set up a little right, close my club face. I'm just gonna try to hit a big draw. Oh, and I hit it behind the ball. <laughs> it might get it on the green though. Just roll on. The problem is, is this green is just, you know, uh, these pins. That's, that's what I was getting at, the pins. The green's big, pins tucked, and now we have a 54 foot putt for birdie. All right, let's see if we can finish out strong. Let's see if we can finish out strong. So 55 feet or so, and look at the break on it as well. We hit one of these earlier though and did a decent job. And that's the thing, Mevo Plus is doing a good job with these 50 foot putts. I mean, that's fantastic. Oh, how'd I judge it? Oh, oh, in the hole. <laughs> we hole out a 54 foot putt on 18 to end up one under. I mean, that was so close. Did you see it go around the rim? I mean, what a perfect way to end because honestly, the examples that we gave here, I mean, like I said, so let's just do a quick recap. Flightscope Mevo Plus does have the latest Fusion firmware update utilizing the camera and radar together for Fusion tracking. Um, my understanding from Flightscope is that's primarily helping a lot with putting and short chipping, but they're using, utilizing it across the board from what I understand. But driver, you guys saw my results. Very similar to other launch monitors. I'm getting very good results. Now understand, I'm in a very, very, I call it a clean environment. People ask what that is. Well, I don't have, you know, fans going everywhere. I don't have, uh, you know, a bunch of metal on the sides and, and you know, very, very tight space, you know, with, with objects sticking out, anything like that. My, my surface is smooth for putting, things along those lines. But one, I'm very happy to be back. <laughs> I feel like my elbow is good enough now to where I can make swings. I'm gonna keep doing my exercises and getting this thing strengthened up, but I'm very happy with uh, the results today. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. But like I said, Flightscope Mevo Plus, Fusion Tracking Plus Pro Package, E6 Connect Golf Simulator software. We ended up one under at Innisbrook Copperhead. Super happy with that. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, if you're looking to purchase FlightScope Mevo Plus or any other hardware software, shoot me an email. It's pinned to the top of the comments in the description. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.